Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to plane spot at the Reina Beatrix Airport, but I'm gonna do it on a kayak. And we are heading now over there. I got my kayak over there, just uh, as I showed you. And we're gonna go this route. We started near the Wilhelmina Park, which is back there. And there's actually an airplane landing right now. So I do hope to catch a few more on the way. So I am kayaking here at the Pardambay, which I have already have a few videos over here. Uh, I did um, a walking video uh, at the beach and one at the linear park. I have recently done a sunset, which was over there at the Surfside Beach and also did the airport to eagle beach which passed through this linear park but today i am heading to plane spot uh it is a sunday so there's supposed to be a few extra flights compared to the weekdays and uh but i am uh, quite uh, far still so i'm gonna get rowing or paddling is it paddling or rowing when you are in a kayak. I hope you enjoyed this one. I do hope to catch a few airplanes. So I better get going. It's gonna take a few minutes to get way over there. So that bird just got a fish i do believe just jumped in the water got a fish and lunch is served <laughs> Whew, got a little bit tired here i'm still a few hundred meters from the approach area but there is already an airplane this is an american airbus 3 20 i think or three, 19, I don't think so. Wow, did you guys notice how it moved like this? The wind is pretty, pretty, pretty extreme here in Aruba. Usually we have like 20 knots of wind or at least 15 and sometimes it gusts up to 30, uh, especially during this period that it gets a little bit drier it does get also a little bit windier and it can even go above 30 uh, I think 33 35 and it, and then it's got to get really really extreme to get over 40 that doesn't happen too often but certainly 15 to 25 is pretty standard wind over here so it is challenging from where I was coming is over there where the cruise ships uh dock is on the left side now we can't see them uh pretty clearly from here but there are like i think like five cruise ships in port right now and the oil dra drilling platforms are, or, or gas drilling platforms are still there with some oil tankers uh out there so let's keep going and trying to get to the spot I want to show you guys and hopefully they I will be able to get a, a plane or two look at how clear the water is over here so this is the reflections beach bar and restaurant and if you saw my sunset 
video the other day the uh tables and chairs were on this side now it doesn't have a name i'm not sure of the name anymore i don't want to say the name and it's not that anymore but this is the busiest part of this beach i'm getting pretty tired <laughs> it's been uh it's been uh pretty far and oh there is a airplane coming again and i'm not gonna get too close to it obviously but i don't know if you guys can see it it's over there but the place i'm gonna get to is more on the approach path and the final uh part where they land is more like on this side so i'm gonna go around this and watch the landing it's an american airlines again and you guess the aircraft this time i think i know which one it is do you So here is where you can come play. You pay a fee and you come play with the kids. Uh oh. Boom. And in case you're wondering, that's our Coast Guard uh, boat of Aruba. And I'm pretty much in the line now for the approach. I'm waiting for some waves that the Coast Guard just created. Waiting for the waves so I can continue uh, that time. Now I'm closer and closer to the, um, oh, I just got quiet because <laughs> there is a large crab running around in the water. Now I'm almost uh, stopped here. But anyway, the mangroves are over here and I can spot a, almost like a, somewhat of a rare bird that you wouldn't see, let's say, uh, inland. So you wouldn't see it. Uh, when you're at home or uh, at most hotels and stuff but this is because nobody really gets uh, on this side landing lights are uh, partially over here so they are in the water right the last one being over there so there are four and plus the other lights uh, that help the pilots uh, at night to to land now another thing i wanted to show you guys is if you're wondering where the renaissance island is where the flamingos the popular flamingos are it, it's this one it used to be the originally the sonesta island for years and then it was changed to uh like the owners changed to renaissance island and i do believe you can walk the whole little island and get all the way over there so i'm not the only one waiting for an airplane but right now it's very quiet uh i don't know if they spotted one and maybe i don't see it and i do have the app that you can watch where they are and which flights are coming but it's my in my bag i don't want to go there right now and i better start moving from here <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna get stuck. I don't want to do that. So there is finally an airplane coming in and I'm excited. It's gonna pass right on top of us. Now, the runway is like this. You can see the airplane is coming in at an angle straight to us. It's because there is a little bit of a crosswind. Look at how low this is gonna go. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> that's, that's super nice i love my airplanes and they enjoyed it too wow i haven't seen them this close in a long time wow. 
I'm gonna wait and see if there is another one. Uh, I was just checking with my phone if there was, but then I saw this one and I just jumped in and uh, got a little bit into the water. Let me get a little bit far from this. Now, there is another airplane coming in, but before that, uh, the reason I'm not uh, uh, standing or, or how do you how would you say it parking right at the straight line there are some rocks in the ocean so I can get some damage beneath the kayak we don't want to do that and uh, maybe what I didn't explain a moment ago was that the airplanes need to come to the side to compensate for the heavy wind here in Aruba So this one is coming like mostly straight in, but quite low too. That's a Southwest Airlines and I got a couple of waves, so be right back. Actually, I could handle it. And the reason, did you hear that? That is part of the effect of the uh, engines, the, the engines of the airplanes. They have a certain whirlwind effect. I don't want to use the terms because I, I might confuse you guys, but it can be actually dangerous. Not for us per se, but if there was another airplane just behind it, it could cause it to crash actually so even if you are at one of these bars or restaurants right you can still catch a pretty good view of the landing airplanes is it gonna hit the catamaran maybe not let's see this one is a jet blue Pretty awesome, isn't it? <laughs> and there is someone in front of me, so I better watch out. I'm gonna go in and then head back. So guys, sorry about that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna leave you. I know I talked a little bit too much today. There is another airplane coming in. Quite a few flights today, um, which is a Sunday. And usually uh, Saturdays are also busy. So if you like watching landing and departing aircrafts, you can come here uh, or next to the runway. We call it plane spotting if you didn't know that and yeah i hope you enjoyed it remember to subscribe and like it and share it with your friends remember i have many many more videos in my library so go and check them out i'm waiting for this one i think it's a united airlines i am talking too much bye bye guys see you next time bye bye